podcast is in the building. <laughs> Bonte type Davis is right back at you with another one. Oh, I thought Jay Harco was going to come on and start the show. What's going on, everybody? How y'all doing? How y'all feeling? God damn, boy. And I tell y'all what I just got finished doing, man. Y'all going to understand. Mm-mm-mm. Woo! How y'all doing? How y'all feeling out there, man? Hope everybody had a great and wonderful day. Damn. Excuse me. Happy birthday to Lord Young Hardcore, man. Happy 16th birthday, man. <laughs> Let's get the sponsors out the way. Five Town Champ, three different weight divisions. Hard hitting, devastating puncher. You know, Javante Tank Davis. Redesigned their minds one mind at a time. You know, a mind is a terrible thing to waste. Under Armour, thanks for all you do for the gym and the community. Shout out to Kenichi Bear. Happy birthday. For the day only, use code TRP, get 19% off. Make sure y'all are going to check out noslipgallery.org, man. Check out Young Damari. Man, make sure y'all subscribe to Just Do, Stretched Out Boxing, all the podcasts, you know, Jake Hardcore, Hardcore's Hangout. Make sure y'all subscribe to all these, all these, all these podcasts, man, because we 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 moving. We moving in a circle, man. So you can always have action and content, man. Shout out to Aunt McQueen for stepping in on the days where can't nobody make it. <clears throat> and just for what he bring to the to the platform, man. Well, make sure y'all following everybody, man, and checking them out. Um, shout out to Bad Girls Promotions once again. Happy birthday to her. Happy birthday to my daughter Kels. You know what I mean? Ooh. Mm-hmm. Last but not least, y'all can say it with me in the chat. Y'all know what time it is. Squeeze says on the way. I ain't seen nothing yet. So you know what I mean. I'm waiting to see it. Say it with me. Box wrong. Mm-hmm. Hope y'all ain't see that. Mm-hmm. Man, I feel all right, Lord's 4,500, man. I'm coming along, man. I'm doing a show tonight. I forgot Jay Hardcore. son birthday was a day. He ain't do no show. So I was like, shit. I got to make sure. Um, got to make sure I come on there and give y'all, give, give, help give y'all some of this boxing talk. I ain't seen much boxing today. <laughs> So we're going to chop it all up together. You know what I mean? Let me highlight everybody in the chat. Miss Tonya Van Draws Williams as Junior. Appreciate it. Appreciate the support, man. Always appreciate you. Miss Tonya Van Draws Williams Jr. Evening Thursday. Everyone, Blessing Rise family, Calvin Kenny, Nikki Hunt. Excuse me. Lord Tank Jr. Arena. Showtime to God Pass. Real Dear Israel Thomas. Hill, GTD, Bad Girl Promotion, Fighters, Baltimore, Maryland, Miss Tonya, right back at it with another one. Happy birthday, blessings, peace, love, happiness. Celebration with Born Day Weekend, Coach Nikki Damari, Miss Miss Kelsey Cobbs. Happy birthday to Damari, too. Alan Johnson is in the building. Miss Tonya, right back at it. One more again. Evening Thursday, blessings, all access international, senior squeeze, movie king, another one. Yo, yo, box raw. Which McCall call it? Miss Arena, Lewis 4500, Shara Whitley, Heather E, Rockwell McBride, Ace, Stretched Out Boxing, Cash Sports, Hardcore Boxing News, Micah Jackson, The Boxing Menu Podcast, Joshua Womack, Andre Noble, All Funny Video, North and Green Mount is in the building, Scout Scrupulatory. Nick Running Bear, all the way from the preservation. Sherrod Whitley. I'm the real deal. Israel. Skywalker Boxing. Gregory Pratt. Trucker Sally. What's going on, everybody? This motherfucker bright, boy. It's not even that bright, though, but it's. I don't know. What's going on, everybody, man? How y'all feeling? Hope everybody had a good day, man. Sorry, I'm late, man. Listen. I told y'all I don't eat a lot, man. Alan Johnson, what's going on? I told y'all I don't eat a lot, man. And all of a sudden, last minute, man, I had a taste of some oxtails, man. Mm, mm, mm. I was over here smashed. I seen I seen hardcore talking this trash. I was I was in the building, but I needed that 10 minutes. I had to put that, 
I had to put them up in me, you know what I mean? Oh my gosh, they hit the spot. You ever you ever had a taste for something? Show China guy pass. What's up, my guy? You ever had a taste for something and then when you get it, it just it hit all the spots it was supposed to and fulfilled every feeling that you had leading up to that moment. Oh my gosh, some oxtails with that with that cabbage rice with the great with the with the oxtail gravy. Oh my gosh, man. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm just scared now because I y'all know I don't eat a lot of beef, <laughs> so I'm worrying about I'm worrying about the backlash. But right now I'm trying to tell you, man, them them oxtails hit. Oh my bad, them oxtails hit every spot. They hit every spot. Mm, 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 mm. Hold on one second. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, I went out. Um, I wish I, I went out Tosh's Anchor out there on Liberty Road. That's the only place I really go to for Jamaican food. Um, all oh, funny video. I went out there, man. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm. I got like two of them left that I'm gonna finish when we get out this podcast. Coach, 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 what's going on? Hello, Lift Materia Media Medical Clinic. What's going on? What's happening, man? Man, I can't call. Just come on here and talk a little bit of boxing. Miller Films, what's going on? How you feeling, Coach? How was your day today? It was cool. What's going on? Any news? Any updates? No, nah, just going with the flow. Ain't nothing guaranteed. Okay, okay. Mm-hmm. How we? You ever get an opponent for me yet? Yeah, yeah. Um, December twelfth. Uh, what's her name? Angelica, something. I forgot her last name. Fuck. She's modern. She trained. She trained in Vegas. It's gonna be in a, um. The fight gonna be in Texas. You training in Vegas boxing? Dad, what's going on? The girl trained in Vegas. Oh. You said it's gonna be a how many rounder? Eight. Okay. Her last fight was a six, right? Yeah. That fight was a six. It was scheduled for six anyway. Yeah, it was scheduled for six. And this one is scheduled for eight. Okay, moving on up. Congratulations, too. I see she just got another endorsement. When? I don't know nothing about that. Um, I got to get the name of her. She didn't tell me yet. You know about it. Don't 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 shout it out on the rise, Jack. She already posted it. Oh, that's how I, I see. It. About that. I thought it was I thought it was a new one. No, that's why I said you know who it is. With Reliance Reliance Sports oh. LLC. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I, I know you know about that one. Yeah, I got some other stuff that's just for the, you know for the people we deal with, and for, it's not for everybody. Oh, you making moves? Yeah, it's not for everybody. It's for uh, you know people we deal with right now. I wear extra large. <laughs> yeah, it's for the circle. Now I wear extra large, just so you know. Already. I, mean, I want to make sure. I want to make sure you understand. I wear extra large. I heard that. What's going? What's going on with boxing today, man? Somebody talk to me, man. Tell me what's going on. I see they going crazy. They seen Errol Spence looking a little. Looking a little, looking a little heavy. Get money, don't make no money. That's what's going on with boxing. Mm-hmm. I'm trying. I'm trying to see who's gonna be. I'm trying to see who's gonna step up to the plate. Time to tell. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna get some uh, ex fighters and coaches on here one day. How many people can we have on the set? How many time? you want? I think it's like 12. Yeah, we got to fill it up. That has some, got some questions to ask, man. Stretched Out Boxing said, uh, thanks for the Julian Jackson highlights. Oh, you welcome. Oh, you checked it out? <laughs> yeah. Aunt McQueen is in the building. What's going on, Aunt D for the win? What's happening? They talking about, I see they talking about Ryan Garcia possible for the winner. Of Devin Haney versus Regis Progray, I had a feeling they was going to do that. 
That'd be good. That'd be good. But he got to get past this opponent he got, though, right? I already see what they're trying to do. I already see what they're trying to do. Yeah, he got to get past this guy. He can't sleep on him, you know? Yeah, yeah. Even though they say he's so called nobody, but you. He talking about Ty Tyson Fury might retire. He fragile. Who said that? People making that up, man. I, that's what Eddie Hearn saying right now. I'm looking at the little boxing news 24. If it ain't come out of his mouth, man, don't listen to that stuff, man. People be talking under pressure because they don't know somebody's next move, so they make up stuff. Dimitri nah. Dimitri Bibble coming back in January. He ain't never going nowhere, did he? Mm -mm. You mean he scheduled the fight? Yeah. Oh. We're going to return to the ring. Oh, okay. You said it like he retired. I was wasting No, 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 no. I'm saying like he's returned to the ring. F.A. -A, -A Jogba battles Joe Goodall this Saturday. And Virgil Ortiz Jr. faces Frederick Lawson on January 6th on the zone. Virgil Ortiz. <laughs> Miss Tonya, appreciate the support. Coach Kenny, a.k.a. the magician, I need a size medium. <laughs> Miss Tonya ain't playing. You started something. I don't even know what what what, what, what Junior was talking, Senior was talking about. <laughs> yeah, well, she need a, she need a, um, she need a medium. Mm -hmm. You got, you got her thinking it's something to wear. Mm-hmm. Um, what were you say? Um, what you, what you, so what did, did, I don't think I talked to you about that, um, about that Tyson Fury fight. What was your thoughts on it? I saw clips of it, man. Um, Ernie V, what's up? I saw when he knocked Tyson down, but that don't mean he won the fight. Did he beat Tyson up? I, th I think, I think, I mean. Got to beat the champion up. You got to fucking dominate the champion to beat him. I I, I could have dealt with a draw. Well, it don't sound like he beat him up to me. And Tyson probably took it light, knowing he's a great fighter. No, he ain't take it light. No, nah, you you fight an MMA fighter, you just assume you're going to box the shit out of him. You're giving Tyson too much credit. Now, why you go with boots? You appreciate the support, champ. That's the rematch. You giving them too much credit? Yeah, they talking about a rematch. They talking about Nadalny and uh, Deontay Wilder. Oh, they going crazy now. Hey, that's what happened when you let an MMA fighter get in the ring and you don't do what you're supposed to do. Wilder well, gonna hit that motherfucker, send him back where they come from. Sean O'Malley, Sean O'Malley, trying to get a um. Sean O'Malley trying to get a fight with uh, Shakur Stevenson. They, they letting these MMA fighters feel like they can do it. They coming over here, you know what I mean? They ain't getting destroyed, so they feel like they can, they can, you know what I mean? They don't get destroyed. Just keep on, let, let, keep letting them tap in with that boxing ring. Let's see. What you think about, what you think about uh, Jamal Charlo versus Jose Benavidez? I'm rocking with Charlo. That's the big one. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know, coach. Right, Charlo. Girl, your mommy gonna get you. Oh man, what that you back. They want to, they want that check as they should. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They try they coming over here to get it too D for the win. Sean on mm -hmm. um, Sean, Sean O'Malley on uh Shakur Stevenson line heavy. Joe want that want that check. That's it. Hey, but they miss Joe What's going on? Michael Jackson said I got Jose on that one. Charlo been out too long. Mm -hmm. Jose stay in the gym. Mm-hmm. Heather E said, I hope Benavidez whooped Charlo ass. <laughs> it's in the, huh? Some things is in the DNA, man. You, you know, some fighters can do it, some fighters can't. Jay Cropper, what up? Um, 
Gregory Pratt said the judges called that fight right, but Tyson Fury did a poor disservice to boxing. Might be that time, man. Possibility. Might be that time. But all the commentators were saying the, the, the way he was fighting didn't look like he took training seriously. That's what I said, because he was fighting an MMA fighter. Yeah, but all fights are serious. Am I correct? Yeah, but... Okay, okay, okay. MMA yeah, fight, but what? That, yeah, but that, what? Now, I want you yeah. to understand, you got a little kid somewhere watching. An uh, MMA fighter that never boxed before. Come on, man. I ain't saying he shouldn't have trained, but God damn. They the ones you train the hardest for because they can't a fighter, that, a fighter that can fight. He, he, he should know how to, you know, handle that situation. So what you're saying, because he ain't handled that situation. So what you're saying? Speedy, what up? He said, Rise family. What up? What up, Speedy? I'm not saying it was a good good thing, but you know. I'm saying you saying he's supposed to handle that He didn't handle the situation. He didn't lose. He ain't handled the situation either. They 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 talking about putting that man on the rankings. Hey, let's 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 do a rematch. I guarantee you, you handled that situation. I appreciate you, David Bud. Appreciate you. Hey, this for y'all, champ. He probably was using that dude just to get some rounds and get back in shape. Man, I ain't trying to hear that, coach. I'll get some rounds and beat this guy. Then I'm gonna start training for for the next one. No, I ain't trying to hear that. Coach. Saying, that's how fighters be thinking, though. You giving, you giving, you giving, you giving, you giving, you giving him a lot of leeway. No, I'm yeah, just sports that Mike Tyson deserves some credit for the job he did with Nagano. I think, I think, I think honestly, if Nagano let his hands go a little bit more, he get he get that fight. Can he let his hands go? He thirty, he almost forty years old. Hey, hey, you see what he did. Lincoln Levels, what's going on, champ? He almost 40 years old, man. Hey, he hey, he did what he was supposed to do. Tyson Fury was on his ass. He wasn't on his ass. <clears throat> Come on, man. Tyson Fury looked like he got whooped. Knocked down no win no fight. L L L L um Nagano looked like he just splashed some water on his face. <clears throat> That's a big dude, though, man. He was huge, man. Hey. Tyson Fury ain't no little, ain't no little guy. No, he ain't. Nicole hey. Dunkley, what's going on? Man, coach, I just had some oxtails, coach. Mm -mm -mm. Oxtail? Yes, indeed, man. Man, you ain't supposed to eat no oxtail. Who? Oh. You know what they do with their tail? Hey, listen. I know what they do before they cook it. They clean it. They, they... They they, they they shit they shit down their hips and then take their tail and wipe it off. Hey, guess what they do? Guess what? pull up a video. They yep. all shit and they take their tail and go. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna cook that shit? Guess what they do before they cook it? What? They clean it and they take that tail that 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 skin that was on that tail that he was wiping with. They take that off too. So I ain't tripping. You sound like you making it okay to eat? No. Man, listen, the way oh. I just ran through him. Oh my gosh, man. Oh, and they probably that was probably less than two weeks ago when he was wiping his ass with his own tail. Hey, that mean it was fresh. <coughs> <laughs> what you saying? Hey, what you saying? It was good. Finger looking good. God dang. Ain't I never ain't... oxtail. Huh? I ain't never eat oxtail. For real? That's why you talking like that then. Huh. No, sir. That's why you talking like that. You ain't never you get get it, get your oxtail. I bet you, you go back twice. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, wiped, I bet you go back twice. He wipe his own ass with his tail. You know I ain't eating that ox tail, man. Matter of fact, I'm gonna make I'm gonna make you some rice one day, rice and gravy. Put a, put the ox tail in there out the bone. You gonna smash it? What's this ox tail? Mm -hmm. so let, let me get it. Let me get another scoop. No sir, man. Listen, Dank Luke Kane, what's up, champ? Rock McBride, appreciate you. Furry should have lost. Just for stinking up the ring. I'm trying to tell you, man. Everybody have a bad night. Cut that out, y'all. <laughs> y'all keep out. talking about y'all keep talking about ain't no ox in America. Right, man, listen. Listen, I'm gonna tell you what I ate. They called it oxtail. It was good. That's all I'm worried about, man. It wasn't no pork. I'm all right. You sure it was oxtail? It wasn't pork. Rocko, what's up, champ? 
<laughs> it's Joette. Yeah, I don't eat no pig feet. I, I don't understand pig feet. You might as well eat pig feet. I don't know. Man. I, I've never understood pig feet. Like, I, I think I tried one when I was little. Cause then I, I ain't understand it. That shit just like fat. There ain't no like meat on there. No. <coughs> Oxtail marinated in beer. I ain't never had it marinated in no beer. I definitely, yeah. I definitely had the extra gravy, Greg. They definitely a go, Ronnie Johnson. You know what time it is, man. I don't care if they came from the cow, the ox. They hitting. They, yeah. And the ones out the batch I just had was just right. Flavorful, good. Oh, my gosh, man. I got how many, how many ate? A couple of them. I got two left. So when I get out this podcast, I'm going I'm to... I got, got, it got meat on it. Man, listen, man. Listen, man. You don't know what you've been missing, coach. Yeah. It's, it's beef. It ain't no pork. It's beef. I'm trying to tell you, like, if I if, if I was to make some rice and gravy, right? I beef, guarantee, rice, gravy, I guarantee wherever ox come from, there's a bunch of castrated dogs running around. Hey. That make sure you eat an oxtail, boy. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> so it's Kenny crazy, man. He said meat on it. When I see ox on TV, I don't see no damn meat on his tail. Man, listen. Yeah, I think they, I think they trick you. You eating German Shepherd balls, boy? I don't, I don't eat none of that. Uh, <laughs> funny video. I don't, I don't eat a lot. I don't eat a lot of beef, Grant Oliver. St- Timothy Steve Spearman, what's going on? I don't eat a lot of beef. That was my first time eating beef in a minute. That's why I'm hoping I don't got to worry about the backlash. Too late, son. I it already is- know. How, what, what it come in? What kind of pack it come in? What you mean? Did it come in like? A label? I, get them I get them cooked. Oh, where from where? I go to the Jamaican spot, get oxtails, rice and peas, and cabbage. Oh, extra gravy. Rock Israel, appreciate the support. Appreciate you, champ. Nephew Joshua Furlong, where you been at? See, all you want to eat, all you want to eat is that steroid chicken. That's all you want to eat. To me, yeah, all you eat is that chicken on them PEDs. Man, I know how to kill my own chicken. What you talking yeah, about? Okay. Well, you ain't, I ain't seen you kill one yet. I, I'm gonna take you where we're gonna kill it and eat it. All right, and bring you gonna take some home. All right, all right, shit, all right. Ain't, you ain't never scared me. I know you can eat it. You eat oxtail, <laughs> I know you can eat fresh chicken. <laughs> Grant Oliver, yeah, you peep them though. Where you get it from? All I, these questions, yo, Coach Kenny want oxtails. He definitely want to try. I had frog legs last Thanksgiving. Mm, I ain't never tried them. And they they good. Brashley McKen- Brashley Mc- McClendon, appreciate the support. Is it true Tank knows his next opponent? He's waiting on an Amazon Prime deal to be finalized before announcing the fight. Only time will tell. I don't know nothing about it. I'm gonna wait and see what happens. Let the clock tick and see what you get. <laughs> Y'all, if y'all thought Coach Kenny was going to give it to y'all, y'all crazy. <laughs> Coach Kenny definitely like them big-ass pigeon wings. Hell yeah. I don't, yeah. Like, I don't like them big-ass chicken wings. You ever seen what a real chicken wing look like? Who me? Yeah. Yeah. Like the real size of it? Yeah. They small. Yeah, so when I be seeing that other shit, I be it be. I see them on little videos injecting shit in them, swallowing them up. Ox I, Rock Israel appreciate the support. Ox tells us this shit. You know what? Sherry Whitley said the frog legs taste like chicken. They tender, they real tender. They taste good though. Yeah, they taste something like chicken. Yeah, they good. They real good. I think I ate I ate more frog legs than chicken on Thanksgiving. Thank you. Material Medica Clinics uh, they add estrogen to chickens to grow big breasts. So you're consuming extra estrogen. That's why, that's why I, I be trying to cut back on the chicken. 
Oh, he definitely on his mixtape tour, all funny video. You know how he get down. Oh, he no duck. I had duck too. That's greasy. I don't, I ain't, I ain't crazy about duck though. And I had um black bear. That was good. That tastes just like roast beef. I ain't never had no bear. I had buffalo. I ain't never had buffalo. Buffalo, good. Um, they my cousin, my cousin was in the NFL, and they used to they used to eat buffalo buffalo meat spaghetti with uh, wheat pie. So that shit used to be good as shit. Damn right. That's why we got all these feminine dudes, Grant Oliver, all that estrogen. D for the win. I just didn't even need to know who was he fighting in February, so I had my ducks in order. I see Tom Brown asked for two dates in February, but ain't no telling for who. Tom Brown. I don't know, man. I ain't heard nothing. Time to tell. February, January, December. Oh, yeah, so a call, a call should be ready to come through for y'all. It's about that time for y'all. <clears throat> Almost. Almost. We, 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 can we ask where camp might be at this year? I have no idea, man. <laughs> I don't have no idea. We're just going to bounce. Take the hit squad. Take the hit squad with us. Demar, Demar going to camp, right? Yeah, Demar going. Should quite open the media. Yeah. No, I ain't talking to Keith. Demar, Demar got one coming up though, right? No, he ain't scheduled. He just fought. But anything, anything happened though, you know. Yeah, I thought he, I thought he had another one. Mm. That's why you gotta stay in the gym, so you don't have to get ready. Demar, stay in the gym. Ronnie Johnson said, "Hey, Coach Kenny, if you ate frog legs and like them, you would definitely fall in love with some oxtails." No, nah. he will. He will. I ain't, I ain't eating no ox tail. They, they wipe their ass with their own tail. His fault don't got no discrimination. He eat anything that go on in. <sighs> ox tail ain't going on there, though, buddy. Man, listen, all I'm trying to tell you. You get some rice and gravy, beef, rice and gravy, and you don't know, you're going to smash. What's this? Oh, yeah, it's ox tail. Oh, I eat ass. <laughs> <laughs> No, nah, buddy. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm I'm trying to tell you, you gotta try some high sales, coach. Listen, that's just like asking me to, to, to smoke a drink. I never did it, never will. No ox no, tail. No, 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 no. See, I'm not asking you to do nothing that you haven't done. You've ate beef before. I ain't never eaten no ox tail. But you ate beef. You ate beef before. It ain't like I'm telling you to do something you ain't never done. This is what you eat. But oxtail is just something different. No, it ain't. It's still a part of the cow. How is it different? They wipe their own ass with their tail, man. A chicken wipe their ass with their wings. What you saying? No, no, they don't. Yeah, they do. No, sir, buddy. You take it out a material media clinic. You take it off the bone for Coach Kenny. Put it in some gravy and some rice. He'll smash it. Yo, let me get another. Let me get another. Let me get another order of that, yo. All right, go. I get down. And he a fat boy at heart. So yeah, he gonna smash it. I don't eat that, and I don't eat clams. You don't eat clams and oysters. I smash them. The clams be still alive. They just be sitting on ice. They be stiff, but they be still alive, man. What that got to do with you eating them? And y'all swallow them joints, they hold, they they be stiff. Y'all think them up. then they got too much goddamn parasites in it. Anything have parasites, but you can you can see it in the clams. I eat oysters more than I eat clams. So so you don't you don't you just eat chicken and beef, huh? Chicken, 
I don't eat as much beef. I eat um fish. I, I, had, some, I had some steak fish for the first time since I was little the other day. Some steak fish nuggets. I, I thought I didn't like steak fish. The only steak fish I ate is out the can. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, I ain't never had no steak fish out on can. Like sardines, but they they be called like the little steak fish with hot sauce on them. You talking about sardines? Sardines or sardines? No, it, it's not sardines. It's steak fish. I ain't never can. Can. You eating shit out of can, but won't try oxtail. You left it in the car, huh? I go get that. Don't you see that cold? <laughs> No, I don't. I don't eat. I don't eat tilapia, Grant Oliver. I've been stopped eating tilapia. He fought that. What you think about? What you think about Ryo versus Cobra too? Kobe lost the, the first fight that gave it to him. <laughs> They're going back at it again. That rematch going to be worse. Uh, the Mario be Kobe right now. Dang, line it up. Man, <laughs> he will beat him right now. Pork fish. I ain't never heard of that pork fish. With two fights. Hoodridge 410, what's up, champ? I ain't never heard of no pork fish. Pork fish. Yeah, Ralph 707. What's going on, champ? I guess it's pork. I guess it's pork pig, right? I don't know. I ain't never ate it. Never. Pork fish. Ew. I eat catfish, but I ain't never heard no pork fish. What the hell is a pork fish? Come on. I ain't, I ain't trying it either. You ever heard of pork fish, too, dude? Pork fish? Yeah. Pork fish. You what is pork pig or something? Mm -hmm. Half pig, half fish, I guess. I don't know. No, I ain't never had no pork fish. <clears throat> What's up with the horse job? He ain't come on tonight. You know he off on Tuesdays and uh Tuesdays and Thursdays. He don't, he don't, what, what he do is he just he just he be home. He just I sit know. back and he just sit back and watch 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 me work on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Yeah, yeah. He 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 he, he getting high off that shit. He yeah, I mean he feels as though he's doing something about sitting back watching when he could be on here with his with his family, chopping it up, talking boxing. Sitting there on the phone, what talking about you while, while you on the podcast? Mm -hmm. yeah. King of Kings, what's up, champ? I said it, squeeze. Mm -hmm. Oh man, I, um, hold on. I think I think Cobra lost to Ryo the first fight. Is that is that the fight where um no? He only had that one loss to the uh, guy Tank Knock to Garcia, right? Oh, oh, right, 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 right. That's what, that's what, I, that's what I was, that's what I had in my mind. Oh yeah, I think I, I like Colbert. You know, I was, I, I had, the, I had the Garcia fight in my head. That's what I was thinking about. <laughs> and Nicole Dunkley said, "You, you keep eating them frog legs. You're gonna have nightmares." Shit. I'd have had him already. <laughs> Grant Oliver said, squeeze cop the half a baby of men and said, I'm gonna take the night off. <laughs> crazy shit. Oh, hold on. Let me see something. I'm gonna give me some more frog legs this year, too. <laughs> okay, okay. I had rabbit, squirrel, bear. Frog legs. I had. I tasted gator. I tasted shark. What else? 
I like swordfish. Swordfish. Yeah. I ain't never had that. I had shark though. I had some swordfish out the grill. That shit was oh my gosh. You you had you eat fish whiting? Yeah, yeah, I, I fucked with whiting. That's that's eel. Hey, I like eel then. They just don't tell you what kind of fish it is. Eel is a fish. People just hit whiting and think, you know. That's why I should be looking crazy like that. Damari just gave me a code, y'all. He said, use code RISE10. Get 10% off on all y'all orders, man. So make sure y'all go to www.noslipgallery.org, man. Use code RISE10. Get 10% off. Hey, Damari, that shit worth the whole price, youngin. Tell them jokers support you. Yeah, somebody was like, somebody got on there was like, he should have started his price off a little lower. I'm like, man, like. They go to the motherfucker. We ain't going to get into that. <laughs> That's what I already say. Like, y'all go to the other stores and don't even ask you for this Support my man, Damar, future world champion. Hold on to it. The value going to go up even higher. That's 18 months. Come And if you wear to his fight, you get in for half price. Mm. Wear to his championship fight, you get in for half price. Mm -hmm. Can't beat that. They gonna come. They gonna be on you. They gonna be on you, Coach Kenny. You heard it from me first. They gonna be on you. You heard it from me first. T said, Coach Kenny, you you old. You at that age where you gotta watch what you eat. That's young people food. Nah, buddy. I'm only fifty six, baby. Damn. I ain't old. I got a beautiful wife over here, and she only twenty three. Why you oh, get what? <laughs> you say 56 and 23. I'm trying to make sure I ain't got to worry about them people's coming to get you. No, nah, she, she, she grown. <laughs> no, we ain't getting down like that, chat. <laughs> she grown, baby. I ain't trying to hear that. She grown. You have a, you have a, you have a uh, squirrel? Yeah, I had squirrel too. I don't like the way the bones look. Like they too little. I don't. They, yeah, yeah. Rabbit, rabbit is the same way. It's they tender. They it's muskrat. Soft. No, I'm, a rat is a rat. A muskrat is just a rat that swim around, uh, along the shoreline and come up on the land. So just like a regular rat. They got them down the harbor. Mm mm mm. muskrat. You said, Coach Kenny eat everything. Yeah, man. Oh, you know I. I I think he got a 23 year old woman. He did everything. <laughs> oh, you know, oxtail. He ain't even never tried. The wife eat oxtails? No. Yeah, yeah. Oh, she said, yeah. yeah. Always. Men eat oxtails. I don't know. Because she was telling me about the Jamaican spot. Man, my wife said she eat it, but I ain't eating it. Yeah, because she was telling me about the Jamaican spot. Yeah, my wife said men eat it, but I ain't eating it. Man, try it, man. Stop backing like that, man. You go go eat a frog, but you can't eat an ox. You trying to convince me? No. Once I make, once I make my mind up, it's made up. Musa, Musa, what's up? Built like D R D. I'm a fan of the Rise Podcast, but y'all just talking about food. Let's talk boxing. What you want to talk about? Built like D R D, man. We just chopping it up. What y'all want to talk about? Proper questions, short. That's all you gotta do. Talk boxing. What Drop question then, DRD. The jab or the right hand? What came first? Thomas Hill is in the building. What's going on? All funny video said, will you eat a foxtail? A who? A foxtail. Hell no. <laughs> the, man, the man come back in. I'm waiting for you, DRD. Drop a question. Oh, here you go. Here you go. No, y'all, y'all. I, I, I feel a setup coming on with this one. You put some juice in that orange cup for me, please. I feel a setup coming on. I'm gonna see what's going on. 
Oh. There you go, Thomas Hill. Drop the link for you, champ. Yeah. Come on in. Y'all got about 10 minutes to come chop it up, man. Yeah, Ace, you know what I mean? We just chopping it up tonight, man. There go the link, though. Y'all got some questions. Mm -hmm. Never had it, but Yeah, I know Dank Lucane. That's why I can't. Big money. What's up, champ? <laughs> Who you got, Coach? Edwin, Edwin or Shakur? I want to see Shakur win, man, because he he right now he the second best, and I want I want him to fight Tank, man, because that's that's the big fight. Not not because I want Tank to beat him, but I do want Tank to beat him. But that's the fight with that they both can make money, you know. Mm -hmm. if, 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 if he should lose to Edwin, then it's gonna mess up the big money fight. But then take a fight, Edwin. Same thing. Same thing for Regis and Haney. Haney gonna out hustle Regis, man. Man, Coach Tobler came on here last night. Already told me Regis knocking Haney the fuck out, and that's what I'm rolling with. I man. wanted to come on, but I was in Pennsylvania. You know, Calvin came on, but I, by the time I got home, I had to take care of something first. It was too late. But um, I just said I don't know, man. I don't see. I mean, he could counter punch real good and catch Devin, but how? You know, Miss yeah. Just Dude, what's going on, champ? He not aggressive enough. Man, coach told me rock with Regis. I'm rocking with Regis, man. Rock with Regis. That's what I'm, I'm doing. I don't like people that don't bet but talk shit after the fight. Oh, yeah. Well, hey, well, listen, I'm talking shit. You're not really you're not really I'm this. I don't I don't I don't achieve nothing by betting you. Bet. You I don't achieve nothing by betting you, man. Man. I'll tell you what. I pay your cable bill for six months. I cut the cable cord seven years ago. <laughs> Best thing I ever did. Um, what up? What up? What else you got? I'll pay your water bill for six months. Yo, you don't want me to get started about no water bill? Mm -hmm. Don't tell me you got a PVC pipe running from me. <laughs> <laughs> running from your neighbor, your neighbor window. Yeah, yeah, somebody like I got a feeling somebody gonna get upset. It's coming. Somebody yeah. getting upset. Before this year is out, something crazy gonna happen, man. That, that's that's what I'm with saying. These, uh, with these upcoming bouts. Dank Luke Kane said he's smelling upset in these next three fights. Just Talk not sure who. I'm telling you, somebody, somebody, somebody getting somebody, somebody's gonna get woke up in this boxing game. Somebody taking a net. I don't know who. Hey. It's, no matter how you look at it, it's gonna be some long faces. Yeah, Grant, I cut cable a long time ago, man. All of them. Hmm. What did you do, bite the tongue? Mm-hmm. Damn. Quarter of the time, though. God, hmm. How the fuck you do that, man? I, I, I was talking too fast. I ain't bite all the way down. I caught it in the time. Yeah, all funny videos say I got 500 on Regis. Yeah, that oxtail on your mind. Man. <laughs> <laughs> God damn. All, all funny video said I got 500 on Regis. What state he in? North and Greenmount. No, nah, because if I don't pay up, he might come kill my ass. Hell. <laughs> <laughs> North and Greenmount, he ain't going to shoot me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just joking. <laughs> Never got to from North and Greenmount. <laughs> Both sports. What's up, Chad? Ooh, and he said he got 250 on Shakur getting dropped. Hey. 
that's a bet. Not with me though. <laughs> T said the only upset is uh Boo Boo beating Benavidez. I ain't, I know I think Benavidez is gonna pull that off. Then round six is gonna be crazy. The death fight. Mm-hmm. Round six is gonna be crazy. Grant Oliver said, Bet me, I'm from the Alameda. She that's just as bad. I already said. <laughs> I already said they don't get no better. He said he like Regis for a hundred. Shit, they rob your ass over the Alameda. What? <laughs> Alameda shopping center. Shit, nigga, put that pistol on you. <laughs> Man, listen. No questions asked either. Bo Sports said, Edwin might KO Shakur. You know what? Shakur got a chance to stop him with, with that overhand. If he throw an overhand left. But he, for some reason, he, he can't get away from that shot. Had to eat Colorado need a front line. They don't got no line to keep them boys off of um off of Shador. That's the only that they, they, they need a, they need an offensive line. Rock Israel, appreciate the support. He said, Coach Kenny eats shot, but won't eat oxtail. Ox wipe his ass with his own tail. Man, listen. They Go clean for. it. Okay. All right. That years and years of doing that shit. You tell me they gonna rinse it off? Hell no. They, and they take the that's they and they take the skin off. That shit is better than the bone, boy. They take the you talking about better than the bone. They take the skin off. I'm not eating it. Yeah, I'm gonna come through there with some. Matter of fact, I, I already know. I know, I, I, coming, I, I, from, I know if it's coming from you, don't eat it. I got you. I already got you. I already got you. Don't worry about it. Mm-mm. Yo. I'm gonna just go live. You, I'm gonna wait till you take a bite. I'm gonna just go live. You're like, what's that? I'm like, little oxtail. I guarantee you can't trick me to eat it. I, no, I already got it. Big C, I just had some oxtails, veggies, steamed veggies, and rice and peas. And rice and feces. He said it just right. Man, I said rice and peas, man. <laughs> <laughs> rice and feces. Material Media Clinic said his wife will feed him oxtails. Huh? Said your wife gonna feed you some oxtails. No, no, she won't. Mm-hmm. No, Grant Oliver said, I feel like Regis gonna whoop Haney on the low. Haney talk, taking yo lightly might get cracked and can't recover. Regis ain't busy enough. Even if he, even if he hurt Haney, he, he don't have the offense to stay on him. That's just how he fight. No disrespect. That's just how he fight. He's not a finisher. You know what I'm saying? Listen, I'm going with. I'm going with. And it's not. He's not going to do that shit overnight. I'm going with Regis. That's okay. what I'm going with. You can go with him. You picking? You picking your nephew Devin Haney? I'm picking Regis. Royal Reef, what's up, champ? Okay. I'm gonna do this in front of Bill Haney. I'm betting on Haney, and you betting on Regis. Make the bet. Now, now, don't let Bill Haney see you. You, you, you scared the bet. Man, I don't hey, Bill you Haney, I'm trying. I'm trying to put a, a G on your son, and this 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 boy is scared. Oh, first and foremost, let's get this understood. Fuck William I, Haney. I, know, I don't owe that man nothing. I know Rise Podcast ain't scared to bet against him. No, Rise Podcast ain't shit, but Rise Podcast ain't betting no cash. He can't afford to lose right now. Oh, I understand that. I got bills I got to pay, man. I got birthdays and shit, man. Who birthday? My my daughter, my daughter birthday, and Nikki birthday. Today? Nikki birthday is... Nikki birthday is Sunday. My daughter birthday Monday. Oh wow! Happy birthday, y'all! If y'all watching, mm-hmm. but I'm trying to get that that bet. So don't 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 make them spend too much. 
No OT said, How soon can we appreciate the support, champ? How soon can we expect a tank fight announcement? Much love. Oh man, soon February, February, soon. <laughs> All funny video said, I'll come over to the gym and leave the money with you, coach. Can he just let me know? Wait, wait, wait now, where, where, where you coming from? He coming from North and Greenmount. No, that money might have um um huh? I know, I know, I know Coach Kenny Ellis ain't backing down and getting scared. Huh? No, not no. in front of not in front of the Ross podcast family. That money might have fitting all residue on it. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I know the I know the GTD team coaches ain't scared. That money got fitting all on it. I, I said I know the I know the coaches ain't scared. You heard what I said, right? No, no, it sound like say, hey. Sound like you put them ball burn number eight on and lost the key because you skating. Come see me. No, oh, all right, oh, all right, oh, all right. You heard, you heard, you heard them all funny video. All funny videos. Come see me so we can record it. I don't know, y'all should be able. I got the live replay on. Huh? No, they were saying why why they can't see the comments after they get up. I got the live replay on. Yeah, it should be able to see it. Excuse me. He said he's coming to see you at the gym. And he ain't, he ain't with no whole bunch of long conversation. This make sure ain't no fitting all on the money. There you coming. go. They, they ain't got nothing to do with North nothing, North man. Coming from North and Green Mount. Rent that money off. See you when you get there, champ. Larry Lopez said if you're scared, go to church. Scared. I'm scared. I'm scared of Jesus. That's it. God. No, not on Saturdays. They ain't there on Saturdays. Nephew, Timothy Stoudem, I was up, Chant. Where you been at? I'm scared of him for what I have done. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> no, man. James Pullins, what's going on, champ? Appreciate the support. See that girl's shoulders. Who, me? Yeah. Nothing. <laughs> Material Medica Clinic said, oxtails will redeem you. Nah, buddy. You'll eat oxtail. I already know you will. Yo, you eat. You like a teenager trying to get me to smoke, man. No, I'm just saying I already know you'll eat one. I ain't worried about it. wait wait till ask the wife is it okay if I get you to eat oxtail. Is it okay? It ain't up to me. See that? She said all right, all right, all right. I'ma just I'm gonna be like, yo, <laughs> I'm gonna just tell her on the podcast, like, you know oh, your husband eat oxtail. My mental is so strong, it's unbelievable. You never, you never leave nobody with my mental, yo. Mm -hmm. I know, I know. You're not convinced me. That listen, listen. So I, I ain't even gotta say no much more. I got you. Look, look, look. Fifty six, right? Don't know, don't know what beer tastes like. How the fuck you gonna get me to eat an oxtail? All right, all right. Let me ask you this, right? You talk all that trash. You talk all that trash. That two fifty, I get you the oxtail within a year. Uh, it's a bet. Y'all heard that right? No, let me let me ask you something. Is <laughs> is coming from you? Listen, listen. Oh, you gonna pick somebody to bring some shit in the cook? No, out. don't worry about it. It's already locked in. It's a bet. If you within two hundred feet of any meal, I'm not eating it. Don't worry. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Matter of fact, if you within 10 miles, I'm not eating it. Don't worry about it, man. I got you, coach. If somebody, cook out, if somebody hand me a plate, I'm going to call you and see where you at. <laughs> if you within 10 miles, I ain't eating it. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I got you. Yeah, I like buffalo meat, Nick Running Bear. Oh, yeah, he definitely already said he coming back. He said he coming to the gym. Uh, Regis coach. 
Huh? He come to the gym? He said he wanna come to the gym. After the fight? Yeah. What'd he come for? The, the collect money he bet? No, he said he coming to see you. I need to know what that man coming for, shorty. <laughs> Talk to me. Talk to me. Come on. No, he said he just said he said he wanted to see the gym. He coming through, show some love. Oh, all right. All right. That's it. Oh, oh, right. He said he bought that too, Trent, New Jersey in the building. Man, stop playing with my man. Come see me, homeboy. Stop playing with my man, man. Come see me, homeboy. He's and running around here. Bring Regis, which no, I'm just joking. I'll joke. <laughs> you run around here with two bullets talking about come see me. No. Nah. You more than welcome, man. Hey, you be watching, you be you be watching um like the little murder ink thing when they be catching like the dudes and the guns. No, nah, that that murder ink shit, boy. That shit, man. That's man, I'm, man, I'm gonna send, I'm gonna send, I'm gonna send, I'm gonna send this joint, man. This gun. I don't even know why he was carrying that gun, man. Man. My daughter, my, my look, the other day, right? My daughter was like, um, dad, three people got shot up Carver. So I go on there to look. It say the the parents brought the little boy up, brought the brought the kid up to the school to pistol whip another kid. Like as a parent, like, what are you thinking about? I don't even want to speak on that situation, man. Yeah, I just let, you know, pray for all of them. Man, that's, that, man, that's, that's, it's getting crazy and it's getting rough out here, man. We're living in revelations, man. You know, some people carry guns for bad. Some people carry guns for the first law of man, preservation. Mm -hmm. You pick which one, you know. Everybody, no, you, carry, everybody carry a gun is not a bad person. But you got a red dot on that. That means you can't shoot, Big C. We live in a world where you damn near have to carry one. Tell me about it. I want a real fifty cal. Uh, all uh, funny video. That's 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 one one rifle I always wanted a fifty cal. I don't never want to shoot nobody. Never. I don't want nobody to shoot me either. Stay prayed up and keep it moving. Grant Oliver say, "What do y'all, what do y'all think can help the city?" Like honestly, um, I only want, I only want to speak on it, man, because it, people think so crazy now, man. They 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 no nah, man ain't even gonna speak on I, I say I say this right you know what I mean everything's so political everything's so political everything's so much about the money man we gotta get back to where it's though you know what's crazy you know what's crazy you just cut me off or you just gonna oh, you, know, right, you, right. Or you know what I mean hold up, hold up. what's going on with the wrist what the way you did that shit look, look. No, I just say you gonna cut me off it's the this is the green screen I throw one hand though. When we get off the podcast, rewind it and look at no, this. no, I ain't do none of that. It ain't look right, yo. I said you gonna cut me off. I ain't ain't no crazy. No, there was only one risk zone. But anyway, look, they they had a guy right. I know you heard about it. He had an airplane. It sits in the air all day and record all the crime. And can zoom in on the people. He can see where they come from, see where they go after they do the crime, and we denied it. And he before before we denied it that they did a test run. They they know who did some of these crimes already, but they denied it. Mm -hmm. So they rather let they rather let people get killed in the street than accept that man and his project that could solve almost. 95% of the crime. It was some bullshit behind it. I remember what you're talking about. Rock yeah. Israel, appreciate the support. He said, saying, give some oxtail. He won't know the difference. I got him already. No. Grant Oliver, Grant Oliver, what's going on, champ? What's on your mind? Ain't nothing. I wanted to hear what you was going to say about the city before Coach Kenny said you flicked your wrist. 
That was no, crazy. No, oh, <laughs> that was crazy. I, 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 I flipped my wrist. I ain't say he flipped it, but it looked kind of crazy. Well, I, I got to go back and watch it now. <laughs> did, you, did, did, you, my wrist. did you see it? I picked it. When you said it, I was like, I did see that. It wasn't man, crazy. Yeah. But I, That's I, a I green see. screen, man. <laughs> no, no. I don't know what you did, but it looked crazy, right? So No, that's the green screen, man. You didn't mean hey, yo. it. No, I just wanted to hear what you were going to say, though. No, bro, I, I think, gonna... you know, everything's so politically driven. Everything's so, um, everything's so, like, you know what I mean? Like, everybody making moves for all the wrong reasons, for clout, for fame, to be seen to be heard, but you know what I mean? When I was growing up, like, you know what I mean? They loved and cared for people. You see what I'm saying? Like, people, like, customer service mad at People mad at You see what I'm saying? Like... The sense of community. That's basically what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, you know what I mean? Like, my I, that, that's what I was going to say. Like, my grandfather, he took... He didn't just raise us. He took care of all the kids in the block. They needed a basketball goal. He gave them a basketball goal. When we went to the circus, the whole neighborhood went to the circus. Shit like that. Like, you know what I mean? Like, if 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 I got in trouble, the whole neighborhood, you know what I mean? Like motherfuckers could deal with other people, kids, and they why you say something to my kid, you know what I mean? Like it, it, was, it was a community, people cared about each other. You see what I'm saying? When they dropped the drugs in the community, all that shit left because one time your parents was on drugs, now your grandmother on fucking drugs, your grandfather on drugs. The ones that teach you morals at home is gone. Ain't nobody teach when well, you got a kid. 10, 11, 12 years old, and, and and his guardians on drugs. They don't care if he go to school or not. He gonna choose to stay home. He can't eat because everybody that's feeding him is getting high. When they get money, they don't get food. They go out to get high. So now this kid glorifying the tennis shoes that the next man got on the corner, so he gonna go out there and get them tennis shoes. Ain't nobody teaching the kids nothing. Yeah. So what they gonna do when they get hungry? They gonna go make some money so they can eat. Back back in the 80s, a, a person, they might drop out of school in 11th or 12th grade, but some of these kids out here, they ain't get past the fourth grade. Yeah. The only thing they can spell is the street the street sign because they see it every day. That's it. And that's what all over the country. That ain't, that yeah. ain't even just Baltimore. That's, every, that's... Big city, every big city in America. Yeah. So it's deeper than, you know, what, what, the, what people say, what they, what they think. This shit real, man. I, I, be, I see kids outside, man, that's 25, 30 years old. They've been on the fucking corner since they was 10. Yeah. 10. And the drugs is what started it, man. Drugs took everything. I, I remember this little kid, yo. He was eight years old. All he used to do was ride around with a bike and kept a 32 on him at all times. You said eight years old. That's my son age. Like, what do you need a gun for with my son age? You see him? He got his blunt, his little bike, and a 32 at eight years old, man. Yep. Yep. I just, I don't know. I just be, I be studying. I be just studying this shit. Like, just the whole timeline, just of us being here as black people. Because, like, we different. Like, we real life descendants are just slaves. Like, we people that don't know exactly where we came from unless you really can do an ancestry test or something like that. Like, we different from the Africans over here. Like, we know the older, look, the look, older it, ones, some it, of us know, but they're trying to erase the history so we, the ones that's coming behind us don't learn it. Exactly. And every time, it's like, every time we catch a break, it's something else. Like, you get free, you build Black Wall Street, they burn that down. You get what I'm saying? Then you get the right to vote and all that. You had the civil rights. Then right after that, you get the drugs. You get what I'm saying? To the point where now my father, I father like, yeah, age Coach Kenny. And I told him, like, he be just telling me study all these different people and just look at. Look, look, some stuff, some stuff we can't blame other people because. It's I, some stuff we know now. No, that's. The reason why I don't drink or smoke because I know it's people in certain places that that's putting it out there for me to do it. If I'm gonna be the last one standing, I'm gonna be the last one standing. I ain't gonna smoke nothing. I ain't gonna drink nothing because people are putting that shit out there for me to the fail. Community. So for me to fail. I won't 
reach my goal. Yeah, it's for you to if fail. I to, if I go to rehab today or tomorrow and come home and I'm looking at that liquor store every day and people around me still drinking, I'm going to relapse eventually. Yeah. So it's, it's, in the, it's in the community. You, you you look at these billboards, you see a guy holding a 40 ounce smoking cigarette and you got a you got a four year old in the car seat looking at that shit. By the time he get 10, he running the streets. Now he want to try it. All that shit is out there for a reason. Curiosity. You know what I'm saying? The time you, by the time he get 15, he a fucking alcoholic. And you go, there's no reason you should go two blocks is the liquor store. Turn the corner, go another two blocks is the liquor store. Go down the street, another two, every fucking, in Sand Town alone, yeah. it's a liquor store every two fucking blocks. For what? It's for you not to reach your fucking goals. Self-destruction, that's what it's for. But you got people that are good, that like to drink, they 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 make up some shit to make themselves comfortable because they go there to get it. You know what I mean? No, it's mm -hmm. for you not to reach your fucking goal. That's and that's why I don't do it. And I if, if if my kids grow up and start drinking, they can't say, "Well, daddy, you did it." Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because they ain't never see me do it. I ain't never gonna do that shit. Life hard enough without any bad habits. Bad habits make that's a, some of these habits is fucking. Cost more than an electric bill. I was about to say right. some of these habits is bills. They they real oh, yeah. bills. Real quick, let me get this out of the way. Rock Israel, appreciate the support. Saying, give him some ox sales. He won't know the difference. <laughs> Daryl McKinney, the content is fire. Real talk. Appreciate the support. Rock Israel, saying you from the show me state all day, every day. Rock O McBride, Kenny, who wins? Beterbiev versus the white Muhammad Kawa. A young the white Kawi. Kawi, yeah. Yeah, and it's prime. Yeah, no, nah, man. Like, no, nah, man. We gotta get back to you know what I mean, family. Like, you know what I mean, caring about each other. Like, all this motherfucking. I remember back in the seventies, man. I remember like yesterday, social service called my mother. I was in the, the I was in the kitchen eating Cheerios. I, re I remember this shit like clear as day. I probably was like seven, eight years old, and they called my mother and asked her that she want to place down the projects, but my father couldn't come. Both of them was working at John Hopkins Hospital. My mother, my mother ain't fall for that shit, but a lot of the ladies went for it. Mm -hmm. That's why we landed where, that's why so many of us landed where we landed because some of the ladies went for it. And it caused division in the black family. And now, to this day, social services still doing that bullshit. But these young girls, they just say, I'm going to take you downtown because they was born in tour. They was trained to say that shit now. I'm going to take you downtown. They trained to say they don't need a man. They don't exactly. even know the trick to that, to beat that. All you got to do is get married. Mm -hmm. They can't <laughs> tell you that if you're married. And most of them, when you, they take you downtown, they get less than where they were. They didn't take them downtown. Don't tell them nothing. Don't tell them nothing. I'm fucking back. Real, here, man. The vision. Motherfuckers, it should be a national go see your father day. Go talk to your father. I don't care if you're a junkie. I don't care if motherfucker land in the alley. Find your father. If you didn't grow up with him, national day. Go see your father and talk to him because there's two sides of every story. No, it is. And most 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 kids that grow up with a single parent, whether it's the mother or the father, they grow against the one that's not there because they grow up listening to the one that's taking care of them. You understand know what I'm saying? If, if, if I'm being raised by a lady and, and I'm listening to her, I'm five, six, seven years old, listening to her, talk to her friend. He ain't shit. He ain't never did nothing for his yeah, son. Exactly. I'm going to need that. But, but, my, but my son don't know every birthday, every Christmas, I was trying to send you a gift, but she intercepted that shit so you would never see it. And they grew up 30-something years old, and they, that's how they grew up thinking. They, they grew up thinking that's you don't love them. That's 90%. If the man raising the kid, he do the same thing to the lady. Vice oh, versa. Yeah. They won't admit to it. They won't admit to that shit. The evil, man. That's that's basically, I be telling people, that's, that's basically friendly fire. We on the same team. We the same army. And we shoot each other. Like, yeah, it, everybody should sit down. And, and, and they should find their parent, the one that wasn't there, and talk to them one-on-one. -on -one, two sides of every story. 
or, or tip both of them at the table. The one that don't want to sit at the table is the one that causes the problem. Yeah. Or customize, separate, and got a new boyfriend or girlfriend. I don't want my kid around that person. That's crazy. That shit is crazy. We's a family now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. I just... I don't know. People gotta understand. Bottom line, you vote. You vote for half of this shit too. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So hey, I'm starting to. Have, I'm, I'm starting to have my uh, my uh, reserved opinions on that too. But yeah, we ain't gonna get into that. But I'm. You feel me? That's why I just said on the on yeah, the social the service. Scale. We are firing the way. We don't need social service. Motherfuckers are coming together and firing the way. Huh? They gotta stop. Yeah. They gotta stop. Fuck with that capitalist system. That's what it is. Yeah. Stop giving your money to everybody but black people. You get what I'm saying? It is crazy. And we can take care of our own necessities in life, food, shelter, and clothing. We all right. We ain't got to be all. Everybody ain't got to have the, 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 the fancy things. That'd be my bottom line. It ain't meant for everybody to have. Mm. You feel me? Mm. And if you do, God, just give a little bit back. You don't owe share. nobody nothing. I always say share, man. Share. Yeah, that's yeah. the bottom line. Somebody that's less fortunate. I don't care if you're in a bad situation. It's somebody that's less fortunate than that. Help that person. Bottom line. But people are so selfish, man. You, they go their whole life and don't don't want to give nobody shit. They go their whole life taking. They don't want to give nobody shit. Yeah. I need help. Help me. That's selfish, <laughs> man. Big C said, having a father figure in a home makes a world of difference. I see it all day long with the, real, with the average youth I work with in my outreach program. I can name 100 homies that's in prison. The father wasn't there. It's some of them that went to jail, but their father, their father was there, but it's more that wasn't there. A man in home would make a difference because he can whip his son from ages two years old up to 25. He can whip his ass. Mom mm-hmm. can't do that. By the time right. kid, a boy gets 13, mom can wear his ass out. He ain't even going to feel it. It's like hitting cow hide. He don't feel that <laughs> shit no more. <laughs> Gregory <laughs> Prince said, that's why my son is at no, overall, real. I want to be the man in my son's life, but not the only man in my son's life. The Upton Gym reminds me of what I wanted as a young dude coming up. Appreciate you, Greg. And then you... you, you a lady can raise... That's, that's not saying a lady can't raise a, a young man, but some things she just can't do. Exactly. At the end of the day, you can't teach somebody to be something you you never been, ain't never gonna be. That's the bottom line. Yeah, yeah. It's a it's a it's a small percentage of women that can. We ain't gonna take the credit away from them. But bottom line is, you can't teach somebody to be something you never ever gonna be in your life. Yeah. But nah, I just wanted to tap in on that note. I gotta come down there and holler at y'all. I ain't never been to the gym, but I'm I'm gonna come holler at y'all. I'm living in Atlanta right now, going to school and working. So I'm gonna come up there. I'm gonna gonna take like a week off around Thanksgiving. So I'm gonna come slide through around that time. What school you go to? Shit, um, I just go to a little technical college right now, but I'm gonna transfer to Morehouse next fall. What's your trade? I'm studying history right now, so I go to law school. What type of law? I'm going to do criminal and civil rights. I wish you the best, man. I appreciate you. Yeah, I'm going to come holler at y'all, though, because I'm writing a book, too. So I just go around interviewing different black people. I interview all people, but it's my book, basically, it ain't even, it ain't even, it ain't start out as something I really wanted to sell. It was basically just like for my nephews and young black males that's coming up under me, it's like an outlook on what it's like growing up as a black man today. Like, how it's different, but it ain't too much different. But you can get caught up in this shit. Like how we say, it's so much stuff out here that's designed for you to lose. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, it depends on where you live at, because some of this shit is like watching um, Wild Kingdom, right? Yeah. It's like, you ever watch Wild Kingdom and you see the gazelles, right? They be drinking water. They all of them had their heads out the water, right? Yeah, and that lion walk across the background. All of them stick their head up and look right. Mm-hmm. You ever you ever ride ride up the street? You see dudes on the corner, 
and, and they do that. That car ride through real slow. They and look, people. and they get they like, what the fuck is this? Yeah, it's like, uh-huh. yo. yeah, it's like, like Animal Kingdom. It's, it, you gotta survive, man. It's the same. It's like one of the things. I be in the car with my girl. Like, I, I do it. down here. Like my girl, she from Georgia. She from the country though. You get what I'm saying? So we living in Atlanta. We drive through certain parts. Me being from Baltimore, I tell her like, oh, you cannot creep. You get what I'm saying? Like these dudes will shoot at you. They scared. You get what I'm saying? Can't creep. You can't slow down and creep. No, you can't creep. You don't think you going to shoot up the block? You got yeah, it. exactly. Yeah, so I get exactly what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. yeah. One. He going up one, one, one time, one time, one time when I was younger, right? It's about when he was messing around outside. I never forget it, man. It was a black Cadillac with black tents. Yeah. Came up the block. He was lost, though, but he was creeping slow. He shot the shit out of his car. He shot his car all up. You see what I'm saying? Hey, yo, you got, you got in that. You might open up a cold case. Bro. Oh, no, I ain't no cold case. I, mean, I ain't say no names. I ain't say, you know what I mean? I just remember it happening. You see what I'm saying? Oh, oh all right. You know what I mean? Like, like shit like that happens. So like, a lot, and that's why I be saying like a lot of people don't be really understanding certain certain circumstances, certain things you're doing. Yeah. Like he ain't thinking about this Ray happening. Got to move you, different. But you in the car with black tents and you creeping slow, looking crazy. You gotta know where you at. Be aware of your surroundings. Somebody probably come do that a couple of days ago and rob them, Joe. Man, you creeping through like you gonna rob them again. You know, it was a nigga going up. It was a nigga going up North Avenue, robbing everything in sight, man. Everything in sight from 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 North and Bentlow all the way up to Wahlberg Junction. He was robbing everything in sight, and niggas. He was he was damn near like yo, like you know when they be like Omar coming. The nigga was okay. robbing. He was robbing everything. Showing up, he ended up getting killed, but he was robbing everything around this time. And niggas was like yo, he on his tip. You know what I mean? You don't know what he gonna be in. You see what I'm saying? But you always got to be privy to your surroundings, man. Always, man. Yeah, it's dangerous, man. Just got to stay prayed up and keep it moving. Before, before, before I get up, I just want to say one thing, cause just, just, just what we talking about. I know it be young dudes. Yeah, you ain't gotta be young. Just I'm just talking to anybody that's out here just living. I don't want to say living wild, but just living day to day. Yo, I work in the courthouse. I work in Georgia, Cobb County. Superior Courthouse. You can look it up. They used to sell slaves right a block away from where I work at. Mm. Yo, I work. I'm a clerk. I'm the excuse my language. I'm the nigga. I'm the last nigga you see when if a nigga want to get up on that stand and tell on somebody. I'm the nigga that asks you raise your right hand <coughs> and ask you if you really. I'm that nigga. You get what I'm saying? If you really going to tell the truth, hey, I'm him. Oh, so what you telling me is you helping niggas testify? No, I ain't helping a nigga. Do nothing. <laughs> yeah, I, mean. I ain't helping a nigga do nothing. You got up, you got up and walked across this floor and got up there by yourself. You, you, you holding their hand up? Hell, they held their <laughs> hand up. You just there lie. I say hold your right hand up. You can hold your left hand up. Bro. You <laughs> no, feel keep me? doing what you're doing, though, Chan. You doing hell of a job. Keep doing no, what you're doing. I Chan. just want to tell. I just want to tell dudes though, like yo, it ain't no game, yo, like. They'll smash you for anything. A lot of man. A lot look, of look, look, look. I just seen a white man get five years for molesting his own daughter. Mm, mm. He was molesting her for seven years since she was five. She 15. He, he, just, five years. he, he just now for seven years since she was five. She 15 now. So he just now stopped molesting her. For real, for real. And he only got five years for that he shit. Got tw- he got 20 years due five. And he took the alpha plea. If you don't know what that is, that's the same thing Gunner took. That means you saying, I ain't really guilty, but I don't really want to keep fighting it. You get what I'm saying? That's what the alpha plea is. So Damn. I say all that to say, yo, stop playing, yo. You get what I'm saying? Like, yo, oh, nine, mama- to five, eight, nine to five will keep you alive, bottom line. <laughs> One of my old heads always told me, like, yo, y'all, y'all out here doing all this, just go sit in the courtroom for a day. Yeah. Just go sit in the courtroom for a day. You know what What's going on, Thomas? Hey, see, you a funny dude. <laughs> I don't want to talk. good with Coach Kenny. 
How you doing, good sir? How you doing, man? The, How you doing? Oh man, it's a lovely day. It's a lovely day. Been giving another one, man. I just sitting here just listening, to soaking up the knowledge, man. And then my man Senior had something that had me over here just dying. He crazy. said, "Don't be raising your hand up on him." <laughs> <laughs> Oh, hey, man. My man said, I ain't doing that. I ain't trying to do all that. I'm over here. I'm over here. Help it out with y'all now. I'm in pain now. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. Um, you know, I wanted to ask one thing though. Like, um when 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 we 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 talk this boxing talk, a lot of times, man, people get in feelings. And whatnot, and and it's all just a matter of opinion and 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 how we see things. We should never let that get to the point where we start threatening and talking down and speaking ill of other folk just because we got a difference of opinion. That's why I recently stopped going back and forth with with at a certain level with certain uh, teams because it ain't worth it. It's just boxing. One time we was going, at, it was it was getting crazy, man. And, yeah, yeah. No, but, you know, I, I, I wish all the fighters success in any teams, but you know, we, we need to fight each other though, you Coach Ken. You, you ain't true. never said nothing disrespectful, not one yeah. time have you said something disrespectful, bro. And it's like it, it, it's amazing how when you say something that may be accurate, people will take it and spin it, and the next thing you they know, know it, it turns into fire. All the time, Thomas Hill. These boxing fans don't know what they want. We're a boxing podcast. I had Regis Pro Grade Coach on. They tell me, "Oh, y'all, y'all switched up. Y'all with the ops." I'm like, "This is a boxing podcast. Like, we trying to talk boxing." I got Regis Pro Grade Regis Regis Pro Grade Coach on here. He talking about the upcoming fight. Oh, we teamed up because Regis said he want to fight Tank. This is boxing. We talking about everybody has open invitation to come on here and talk boxing, but it's never good enough. You see what I'm saying? Nah, like, yeah. it's so, it's so yeah. easy. Oh, y'all with the ops. No, we're not with the ops. We having a conversation, dialogue, it man. It just shows certain people's character. And when you see that, it's just like, all right, Facts. it's just not be cool. You get what I'm saying? Because it ain't this ain't no friendly business at the end of the day. So we don't got to be cool. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It's between two men getting in there fighting to the death. Yeah, but they so let we, the, they So they we let, don't have to be cool, but with, if you want to play that side of the fence and show your character, then you just know who, like Coach Kenny said, we ain't even going to go to a certain level with certain people. You yeah. get what I'm saying? Because they character ain't even at yeah, a certain we, level. We, we, they even do that with them. They don't qualify. We can still have conversations. Like, look, like, you know what I mean? I don't like some of the yeah. stuff that, you know what I mean? We be sad and be going on, but I still have Bill Haney on here. I still have Devin Haney on here. I, you know what I mean? Like we could talk boxing. Yeah. You know what I mean? Nah. Some of us come on here and use the word "ops" for a figure of speech, but some of them using the word "ops" for like exactly. Like, you you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Exactly. And then a gang thing. I, I don't. I don't want to fucking shoot Bill Haney in his son. I don't want to fucking. That you know word don't. Even, that word don't even belong in this. In this, this street terminology. What we doing? Appreciate you, Rock Israel. Al, people, your people are dramatized. You damn right they is. No, you good, and That's what I'm trying to do. Like we diverse, man. We can talk about more than just tank. We is boxing. We talk about boxes. All but of tank, them. tank is our dog, though. So yeah, yeah, this tank, I'm this tank, tank, this tank home base. Why I'm wouldn't we throw tank. him in every conversation? Man, man say that again. It's, this is home tanks. base. We Why have tanks. We we had Tank since a baby. Tank since he was seven years old. I'm rolling with Tank no matter what. It, nothing, it ain't nothing against nobody. You and know? you made a difference in his life beyond that, too, man. So, you know. Tank can beat everybody in the division right now until somebody beat him. That's how I look at it. Until somebody and beat like you him, said, just before. And that's the same with, 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 with Shakur team. Until somebody beat Shakur, in their eyes, he's the best. And Haney, you know, that's the way boxing is. It ain't, we're not enemies because we're going for our dog. Yeah, you know, it, it just be a different standard for different people, especially from other folks who have nothing or have no clue of what it's like to be inside never, the ring. Never even had a pair of boxing gloves on in their life because they, their dad says it's too tough. I ain't getting no gloves. Get that baseball mitt, son. Yeah. Big money. Appreciate the support. <laughs> Put that picture behind yeah. Steen on the shirt. Coach Kenny need to give up on that Pitbull 2 fight in 2024. We need Tank versus Loma, Shakur, and Devin. Appreciate you, big money. Shakur and Devin. Loma just lost. He ain't gonna get, Tank ain't gonna get credit. 
rematch rematch Pitbull because he got a country behind him and, and, and Tank fought him the first time with one hand. And a lot of people thought thought that he Tank lost. So let's run let's rerun it. Then let him know what we do with two hands. You know what I'm saying? Tune up with Pitbull. We got two hands this time. We're gonna nah, tune man, up with Pitbull. Stuff it out, though. We're gonna tune up with Pitbull and then we yeah. just gonna spank everybody else. Hurt me. You know. Hey, as long as we spank everybody else, we line them up one by one and tip them over and let them fall like dominoes. I'm good with it. Exactly. Because, you know, I'm tired of all the talking. Like you said, you know, you shouldn't be getting sensitive because you feel the same way about your fighter in your camp. Come on, man. You know? exactly. and, and, and see, us as fans, we our voices don't matter. But when it starts transiting into camps and stuff like that, doing silly stuff. Man, I ain't got that because I ain't never seen y'all disrespect not one fighter. And in fact, Listen, I've I heard you go for their fighter. I don't hate them. If I saw if I saw Shakur on the side of the road with a fucking flat tire, I'm gonna pull over and help him fix his fucking flat. I'm gonna, I'm, I might spend the block a couple of times. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, no, no, no. I, I rock with Shakur though. I rock with yeah, Shakur. Shakur, my god, I like Shakur, man. We gotta apologize a- to me at first, yo. No, oh yeah. Know. Guess what? He don't have to apologize to me. Oh you yeah. Well, that was, like I said, that just showed people care. I know? appreciate. I appreciate you though. You I know. wouldn't help that nigga, Coach Kenny. No. You <laughs> can't help him. I ain't helping that. Nigga. <laughs> That's you just the Baltimore, him. ain't you? <laughs> nah, but Kenny, man. I, together, I, you getting out? I ain't getting out. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it ain't that heavy. You know, all all of them rich, man. You know, I'm blessed all of them. But Tank is yeah. the best. Tank is. But the like best. you said, man, it's just, it's just, keep doing what you're doing until you meet in the ring, and then let the ring settle everything, man. We shouldn't yeah. be out here talking to ill talk about each other, speaking and using cold talk like we part of some life that it is. This is boxing. That's you it. get in that ring, man. You settle it with you. You clarify yourself with your fists, and then at the end of the day. You shake hands and go your separate ways, man. Everybody be talking except Tank. That's what I just tell everybody. That's what I. That's like, what I love about that's Tank. That's what I tell my father. I'm like, that's how you know when somebody ain't playing. Like everybody talking except the man that's been talked about. Hey man, man. God, them man, guys box, to play with. Them guys boxing on the point system. Tank getting that ring. He trying to maim your ass. He that's trying to hurt something. He ain't playing. Right. Fuck your jab. Fuck the point system. He ain't leave, the judges the. Put the ink pens down. We don't man, need I'm that. I'm thinking about where I come from. You get yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, no doubt. Hey, Kenny, this is real skill right here, man. It's um, not the skill of a man. It's the will of a man. But oh, Tank can box, though. He can box. Yeah, Tank, Tank got excellent oh, skill, yeah. and he got a whole lot of will. Yeah, and he got a, what, what you say, Coach Kenny? He a freak for pain. That's yeah. the bottom line. And this that's is the thing. Sport. This about who can hurt who the worst. Exactly. Get hit and not get yeah. hit. You know, but 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 real spill though, Coach Kenny, man, you you really in there impacting and changing young young people's lives, man. And for that, you should be commended because you don't get into all that other stuff. No, and, no. and you know that you you and, and you know your stuff, man. And you showing a way for see, these people who probably wouldn't have no hope to see that there's a line right there in the sky that they can achieve if they just put the dedication and the hard work to it. So you got to be commended for it, man. I love the way that you don't embrace the nonsense. I appreciate it, man. Wait, wait till he get these oxtails, Thomas. He's going to be a way better cook. And, and, and when you get them oxtails, make sure you put some Frank's hot sauce because that go on everything. And Senior Kyle's, man, I'm going to tell you, bro, even though you don't feel well, you still here, man. I got nothing but love and respect for you, that's man. Why, I'm going to that's why I had to turn my camera off because I had to lay down. My back was hurting too bad. Oh, yeah, man. I seen the way you had that head cocked to the side, but I knew it was starting to kick in, bro. That head started t- tingling just a little bit. <laughs> like, oh, I better lay this that's down. Let that oxtail break him down. No, man. <laughs> oxtail. He said he, he said it be flopping off that ish. He said he ain't eating none of that stuff. He be knocking off that doo doo with that damn thing. That's no, that. I had, I had to lay my back. I had to lay, lay back, man. My back was hurting. No, hey, you, not, not on, no, not on, not on the kind, like not on the oxtails and gravy. You don't put no hot sauce on them, Thomas. No, I just mess it. I just mess it with right, Coach okay, Kitty because okay. he ain't putting nothing on it anyway because he ain't taking it down. Okay, hey, yo, that wait, wait, was good. Wait till, though, y'all see bro. Video. wait till y'all see me post a video, Coach Kenny getting oxtails. He gonna hand me my 200. What we bet, 200 or 250? <laughs> 
ain't eating it. Hey, right. hey, yo, hey, yo, hey go coach, you still got them shoes though? <laughs> <laughs> Remember those shoes that had you walking on the clouds? What shoes? The ones me the and Tony. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all lost me on that one. <laughs> the Nikes you had at me said was phony. The oh, ones they said you was walking on clouds with. Me. <laughs> I got it. Hey, them joints was tough. I don't care what nobody say. Rock them bad boys. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I love my Nikes, man. Yeah. Nah, but it's always a pleasure to be be on here and just listen to the knowledge that you guys kick, man. You and Coach Calvin, man, doing the marvelous work with so many people impacting lives, and you bridging. The gap, man. I like the way that you guys work with other folks, man. And, you know, seeing you what you guys are doing, man, you supposed to do what you're doing because it ain't just about one person. It's about everybody collectively coming together to build each other up and lift each other up. So, man, keep doing what you, Coach Squeeze is doing, Coach Grandy, the whole team, because you guys got the winning formula, man, and it's selling better than Infamil. So you guys continue to hold your head high, do what you're doing. Don't pay that nonsense, no mind. And keep grinding because ain't nothing but promise and, and fortune and, and prosperity for you in the end, man. Because you're going to get it in the end. Yes, and my man, good. keep doing your thing at school. Yes, keep getting them to raise their hand high. Tell them to be walk softly and carry a big stick. No, I'm just kidding. Man. Hey, continue to do so, your thing too, if man. You and, the, and, and, hey, if you get to me and you raise your hand, it's too late, brother. I can't it's see too it. late. It's too, too late. late. Only God can decision. judge you now. Only yeah, God yeah. can judge you. Now. Only God can judge you now. <laughs> hey, but man, in all things, man, hope everything works well for you at Morehouse, man, and you have fun getting into the the the, uh, the occupation that you 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 want to do, man. And everybody, man, have a great night, man. That's I all I gotta say. You. Appreciate you. I'm out too, man. I got a test that's due. I'm on here throwing with y'all. Get some rest, man. Yes, nice sir. Good, man, do good, man. Congratulations on all your hard work, champ. Already, I'm gonna holler at y'all. All right. Oh man, Coach Kenny, another good show. You 40 minutes late, man. Man, listen, listen, man, listen, man. I had to lay it down. I was been ready to cut it, but y'all got into a good conversation. I ain't want to let y'all lose. No, I was you, over got, there. you got into that conversation, man. I was over there in pain, hurting, man. I had to come lay down, man. What's on the back, man? From that accident, man, that shit hurt, man. Sitting, you know, like sitting long periods of time and shit like that, man. You got you 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 going to therapy? Yeah, I gotta go back tomorrow. I gotta go back tomorrow. I tell her I was supposed to go back to work today, but I wasn't in the mood for it. Right. I'm, right. I'm gonna tell her. I'm gonna tell her. I'm gonna tell her. Send me back. Month. Try send me back Monday. See how I do tomorrow. When my once I tell her my shit was hurting, she gonna be like, "You can't sit. You ain't gonna be able to go and sit it, man." Handle your business, man. You're already. I see you tomorrow. All right, appreciate you, man. Hey, thanks everybody for tuning in, man. Another great show. Shout out to Coach Kenny. Shout out to Coach Kenny for coming on, man. Shout out to Grant Oliver. Shout out to Thomas Hill. Rock Israel. I'm from the Show Me State, the last state. You know, appreciate you, Rock. Appreciate you, man. Appreciate everybody that hit us up in the super chat, the cash apps, man. It really matters, man. It's helping this channel to grow. I just put up, um, Another membership level for uh, for the people that just want to support the channel. So check out the new membership level that I just put up, man. Appreciate everybody supporting us, man. Hey, we trying to take this thing to new heights, man. We going to need each job for us to grow and blow. See y'all tomorrow. Peace. Stay away from that oxtail. Man, watch when I put that video Coach Kenny's up. Uh, Love over hate. <laughs> you know,